Hey guys, um, today I, I'm finally back to making videos after a four week break, um, and yeah, and I know some of you are thinking, well I see you got a new watch, my birthday was um, recent so this is what my parents got me, and I'm getting a huge bar, uh, birthday present unboxing, um, but that will be coming tomorrow, so anyway, let me get back to the video. So, I have a review of the Shangsha 4x4 version 4. Um, this is just an amazing cube. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's super smooth, and this cube is set pretty loose compared to other ones. Like, it's cut line to line. Uh, I'll do it with some force. I just tightened it because I got an explosion. Um, oops. Okay, so yeah, what I realized was the cent the center was getting caught, or like the edge was getting caught on the center, so it wasn't really laying it. But yeah, so let's go on to the outer layers. The outer layers are super smooth and fast, um, and yeah, um, I really like it. And the middle layers. The middle layers are, sorry, the middle layers are also really smooth. Um, so yeah, overall this cube is just really smooth and really fast. I lubed this with both Traxxas and Maru. Oh, ew. Crap, is that leaking again? Yeah. Sorry, my Traxxas keeps uh, leaking for some reason. I don't know why. I need to get a syringe for that. Ew. Um, put that back. Alright, so, um, what else can I say about this? So, the internals. Um, I did do a slight constant mod, not a full one, which made the outer layers not super loose, but it made them a really nice feeling. Um, here, actually, I'll show you what I did. Okay, got it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but as you can see, I rounded, I just rounded the corners. That's all I did to it. I, I didn't do anything else. Um, and that made it very nice, and... Uh, as you can see on the centerpiece, compared to the version 3, where the version 3 has that little kind of like bump right around here, like that sticks out, you took that away, and also on the corners, I think that, I don't know for sure if this was in the version 3, but they kind of scalloped out there. Um, I don't know if they had that on the version 3 or not, but if they did, leave a comment and just tell me. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, like, the algorithms flow really smooth after I did that tiny mod. Like, uh, the parody algorithm for Ola. It's really nice. So, um, yeah, if you do, uh, if you like to do middle layer slices like that, like M slices on a 3x3, three three, um, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. It does catch, um, a little, but, um, I think it should be fine, but the way I do the PLL algorithm, PLL parody, um, I go up, down, you two. So, yeah. Um, these aren't the stickers that came with it. These are my Q-Smith um, custom set that I put on my X-Cube for. What it is is um, fluorescent uh, yellow, fluorescent green, bright orange, bright blue, and then standard red and white. Um, so, yeah. I believe that is it. It. I'll do a solve right now. Actually, I think I have CCT open. Uh, no, I do not. So, well, that okay, it's on. Um, 
I will do a 4x4 four four solve and we will end the video. That was a pretty average time, 56.4. Um, nothing too special there. Um, I'm trying to average around 55 seconds. I'm definitely sub minute. That I can guarantee you. Um, but yeah. Um, so I am going to the MIT competition it, on November 10th, I believe it is. Um, so if you see me there, um, I will try to wear some sort of shirt that will let you know who I am. I'll probably just wear this shirt, um, because that's what I usually wear, but either that or some sort of gymnastic shirt. Um, so, yeah, if you see me there, feel free to say hello. I'm a very outgoing person. I don't, I'm not really the kind of person who kind of sits in the corner It's just, like, get away from me. Um, so... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great day and subscribe.